Greetings, welcome back to the outer worlds. Where the hell was I supposed to? And why does it change like okay here? Oh, what do I have up here? Something I can get from here. How can I get there? Guess like that. Here? Okay, I'm here alone, I guess. Or just like that. Really? Okay. Oh, god damn it, really? You've got to be kidding me. But this is just my level, right? So if I remember correctly... Skills minus 5. And if I take this off... Damn it! Really? God damn it. Okay, I'll come back here after you level up. No, it's just engineering. Dialogue skills, tech skills. Tech. No, it's not here. Stealth. Unless I have some food I can use. Food, food, food. I'm writing. No. 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 Mind attributes, which is intelligence, perception. I don't think that. Sorry, it gives me anything in there. Intelligence. No, it does. Okay, okay, okay. I see, I see. This one, right? A, it, F. So now, my skills like lock picking. Wonderful. Um, um, okay. Okay, I'm going down what there. Do you think you're doing? Nothing. Nothing at all. Just don't make any trouble for me, okay? Sure. Sure, sure, sure. No, inventory and this. No, goddammit. Equip and equip. Now, where? There. Guess it's there. This is the simple truth. We are all molecular machines. The body is a really? collection of atoms. The mind is a collection of atoms. Oh, this is his this was his stash, right? Some stash of this keeps on his home near the diner. If the stash were people missing, he would go. I'm sorry. Wait. If you can find proof, you can use it. Okay. Where the hell is Thelma? I think it's there. Loma? No, you are just a worker. I think she's over there. Oh. I'd give you a friendlier welcome, but I'm up to my elbows and some tuna guts. Yeah, let's talk about Caleb. Unless you're here to tell I think. me he's agreed to do his job again, I've got nothing to say. Uh, why can't you give him his pay, please? I don't have the bits for it, plain and simple. Besides, if I make an exception for him, I gotta do the same for everyone. Yeah. She's principled in at least this area. I will begrudgingly give her that. Thank you. I think. If Caleb wants to keep this job, he'd better get back to it. I'm about ready to hire sublight contractors at this rate. Hmm. Someone's going to notice your short falls before long. You're going to need to be held responsible. Are you... Okay, let's see that one. Same thing as me. Where's your proof? Cuz I know no one's been poking around my terminal lately. Are you absolutely sure of that, Ms. Ballin? I was. Just as a hypothetical. Nothing to see on my terminal, of course. Cuz I've done thing. wrong. Some going to notice your shortfalls before long. Maybe so. But I bet you Caleb runs out of bits first. Then you'll have to come back. He says he's got a stash to tide his crew over. 
Could be his all talk, but if the money's real, I bet you he keeps it at home. Near the diamond. Yeah, I took that already. We're going to meet him halfway, please. Ragged while he takes an extended leave at the bar? Not on your life. Hmm. Fine by me. <laughs> this will check her. Did I check it? Oh, uh, yeah. Wait, what? Look for the boss giving money, but I mentioned her office terminal. No, that's not that. I got your cannabinoid pills. You're a lifesaver. Hope Abigail didn't give you a hard time. Just the usual. Any word on Braxton? Nothing. I don't know how much longer I can cover for him either. Give me those pills, will you? No. I think that's a good idea. You know, you might consider a real nice Ooh. sleep instead. Hey, 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 wait. Drama's not so bad. Okay. There's nothing around there. Nope. I think I already went through her terminal. More so in this room, blah, 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 blah. Mash random keys, okay. Password incorrect, okay. Ballard? Vilma's personal files are more of supply contracts, order forms, spreadsheets, and financial records. Careful study of her financial reveals that for the past several years she has been slowly siphoning money from her operating budget into a personal account. The theft is cleverly hidden. Individual instances could be excused as surrounding errors or mistakes in simple arithmetic. The sheer volume of occurrences, however, indicates deliberate intention. Intent. Oh, Velma! I'd give you a friendlier welcome, but I'm up to my elbows and salt tuna guts. Yeah, you're gonna hate me. Perhaps oh. it's okay. Tell him to complain to Catherine in Fallbrook, not me. Sublight's demanding more money for the same contracts, which means we're all in the same boat. If Caleb wants to keep this job, he'd better get back to it. Yeah, yeah. I saw your accounts. Yeah, and did you miss the part where I'm working doubles to cover for everyone who decides not to show? Ironic, isn't it? I'm the one who keeps this place running. That money's mine, one way or another. That sounds remarkably like Caleb's argument. Fine. Tell Caleb he and his team can have their raise, but I need them back here immediately. Thank you. Something else on your mind? No. Oh, it wasn't so hard, was it? And I got to steal from him anyway. But let's not mention that. Enough. Is that you? No. Can a man enjoy the smooth menthol flavor of a stogie slim in peace? No. I've got a little brass from doing absolutely nothing. What are you doing, ma'am, is Me. enjoying the moment. It's so rare that I can seize one apart from the jabbering masses of this wretched place. What are we talking about? This law's forgotten town. Cut off from the rest of the colony. Removed from any culture. I recall when Stellar Bay was a proper board affiliated town with regular shipments of Auntie Cleo's best and all the cereals. Poor Sanjar took over MSI and got us all booted. Uh, do you miss the good old days? Days of consumption and culture. Mm, so you do. Squabbling with the iconoclasts for lack of better things to do. Look, you're making me melancholy. Is there something you wanted? Mm, no, not really. I just could talk to you, so I did. But damn it, lady. Uh, I got your money. Why don't you grab a chair? Sit a spell and revel with us. Mm, we need to talk about Velma. What did you want to discuss? Velma was embossing from. Um, I've got you, Paradise. How did you manage that? Wait, never mind. If I question it, it'll turn out not to be true. Besides, I never follow how you got Velma to part ways with a bit card of her own accord. <laughs> Here, take this as compensation. Thanks. Thanks a lot, but I hope it shows how much we appreciate all you've done. Now, me and my friends here better get back to work. Yeah. Before Velma blows a fuse. 
Yay! Okay, be right back. Okay, there is that. Let's apply. Yep, and another perk. Really don't like any of those. Mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh, that might be nice. Her oh, first wolf build per kill. Yes, apply, please. Thank you. No. Come on, jump off the building. Thank you. I wonder sometimes what they're doing on other colonies. Wait, you? Who are you? And the little bastard slippery, right? On account of its blood. So it's it's sliding all over the place, trying to crawl away. Getting so I can't tell the tell the blood from the mud. Excuse me. Don't interrupt, it's rude. Sorry. But I gotta get in there. Get right in that baby rap stomach and dig it out. If so much as a drop of stomach acid got on that medallion, I shit, I don't know what I'd do. Might be I'd hunt every damn wrapped out there. Right. What are you staring? Wait. You ain't from around here. Who are you? Um uh, What? Okay, who are you? My name's Nioka. I'm the best big game hunter on the planet. Sure you are. the loudest big game hunter on the planet. And the drunkest. He's right. Shut the fuck. Fair point. I deserve it though. On account of being the best. It's nice to meet you. Why I cannot tell you that I'm Alex? Ooh, charmer. Don't get a lot of that around here. Folks mostly grump at me about how I should join the MSI payroll. Should you? Nice change of pace. Buy me a drink, will you? Mmm, I'll stay in chat, but you look like you've had enough. Another in a long line of damn fools trying to cut me off. I'll buy my own poison then. What are you doing in Stellar Bay, stranger? I'm told you can help me find an information broker. Get down to brass nuts then, shall we? Brass wait, that ain't it. Brass rats? Let's let's talk business. I'm headed back out there after I sober up. You want a guide sooner than that? You'll have to get me something to clear my head. Okay. What do you need? Outstanding! Our dispensary here maintains a stock of uh, well. I don't rightly know what they are. Steroid or caffeine somethings? Pills. They're very good. I'm cut off for the month. On account of needing one just about every damn day. But I'm sure you've got your wily ways. Fetch me one and we'll be all set. <sighs> you mean caffeine oil? That's the stimulant. They work. Mm -hmm. We got a deal or what? You won't find a better deal in Halcyon than our special one-time offer for a refurbished sanitation unit. Remember, if it's dirty, it's a job for sand. What in the... the thing talks? Yeah, and cleans. That's Sam. Um, he helps me stay clean. Duh. <laughs> okay. I'll try and get you your medicine. God damn it, is it in here at least? Yeah, it is. I don't really want to get out of town just yet. I think we have two quests out. Okay, special pills. Usually, after I've done one side quest, it tends to get me on the main one. Hello. Hello, dearie. Aww. I don't believe I've seen you before. You didn't. And with sweet cheeks like those, I'd remember. What can Auntie Abigail do for you? You know, I've been asked to pick up Capanoid. And what a helpful young lady you are. Nothing Thank like you. A pill to liven up the spirits. Who's your lucky friend, dearie? Uh, the pills are for me? I don't know, you'll have to play the secret for me. Aren't you a saucy thing? Yeah. Now, I may not be a fresh young thing anymore, but with age comes experience, dearie. 
Oh, why don't you show me a thing? Oh uh, yeah, let's go for it fast. Yeah. When Auntie's personal allotment of stimulation is restored. But I'd hate to send you away empty-handed. You were here for caffeinoid, weren't you? Who's it for? Okay, let's fly. I'm so sorry, but with the iconoclasts and the marauder filth chasing away what little trade we get, I'm afraid I have to reserve my supply for Stellar Bay residents. <laughs> Damn it. Our reserves have gotten so low, I've even had to start locking the supply room upstairs. Isn't it a shame what some people will do to get a little extra? Hmm, that's just awful. Isn't it just? I'd make an exception for you if I could, my mm -hmm. little cherub. Is there anyone else needing a special pickup from Auntie Abigail? Nyaka. Oh, her. Yep. It's none of my business, but I have told her Dr. Williams would bump up her monthly allotment if only she'd join MSI. Contribute like the rest of us. Now I've gone and said too much. <laughs> and you know me, dearie. I don't like to... Yes, I know. Don't like. There must be a way I can increase Nyaka's allotment. When? When can she get the those? Oh. be the better part of a month. Ooh. Our dear Nyoka tends to exhaust her supply rather quickly. Believe me, there's nothing I'd love better than to help you, but there's not much I can do. Hmm. Dr. Williams managed the town's allotments from his terminal upstairs. Even I can't access them. I can. I thought you were in chat around here, auntie. Oh, you flatter an old woman. Me, I'm just here to be a pretty face for the customers. And to keep an extra key to the supply room. For all the times Dr. Williams misplaced his. Mm, forget the way. Experimentation with medicinal substances does take its toll eventually. Where can I find him? In the town graveyard, I'm afraid. Poor man was always searching for the flower of enlightenment. On the way, he tried some rather daring substance combinations. What's the graveyard? The flower of enlightenment? It's a philosophist symbol of some kind. Hmm. Never you mind. Okay. The graveyard's near the southern ruins. You're certainly welcome to pay our respects, but the bodies tend to attract beasties. Do be careful. I'd hate for anything to happen to you, dearie. Thank you. I don't want to be mean to her. She's been nice so far. So far. Yeah, and I want to check his body. <laughs> Hopefully it's in town somewhere. I'll have to get out then, but I think, yeah. Oh, you're so cute, Sam. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right, where's the... Oh, it's all the way over there. Okay, I guess. Rising. Yay! Oh, I don't know what... You just advised a robot not to breathe through nose. Don't, 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 Ew. Just die. Ew. Ew. Oh, they're still fighting or something. Oh. Okay. Let's get to the graveyard. What's that? Oh, I guess that's nothing. Misses? Okay. Really? Thank you. Would you mind killing him? Thank you. Now let's search. Okay. 
Let's check the other quest this way. Yeah, let's get something else done while we are out here. Okay. I don't know why it has its own location, but whatever. Now I guess why. Hello. What an unexpected surprise. Please come in. Come in. I for one welcome a reprieve from our travels. That is, if you'll have us, kind sir. That's the spirit. Now come in. Make yourselves comfortable. I'm looking for a man named Braxton. I'm afraid we don't get many visitors out here. The raptodons and marauders scare off all but the boldest. And if you've braved them, you must be exhausted. Why don't you stay for dinner? No, thank you. I should have seen him. I'm sure I would remember something like that. Now, quit fretting yourself about that. Make yourself at home. Dinner's almost ready. Hmm. I don't really trust him. Hello. What a pleasant surprise. And just when I was beginning to fear we'd seen the last of good company for a spell. Yet the Eternal provides, does it not? Only if you give yourself over to the plan, Martha. Uh, may I call you Martha? By all means, just make yourself comfortable. Company is always a reason for cheer. Hmm, feel so eager. Well, it's all the way out here. Does not desire that we huddle and hide, crowded in by walls. We all share the spark of the divine, and we were made to spread it across the stars. Out here, we are free, and even apart from society, the universe provides for us, as your being here proves. Hmm. What do you mean by that? Just that your presence here is a gift to us, and one that we don't take for granted. Look at me, rattling on as if this gravy is going to cook itself. Why don't you run along until we are ready for dinner? I think they cooked Braxton. Oh, hi there. Did you come to bring us more of those rocket candies? Sure, what are we talking about? You know, the ones that come in a bottle with a rocket ship on the front. They don't taste very good, but they make me feel so nice. Hungry, too. I don't have anything like that. That's too bad. There was this other man who used to bring them. Not anymore, though. What's name is his in Barkston? I don't know. I'm not really supposed to talk to strangers. What can you tell me about this man? Mom and Papa said he came from the city. When we got sick one time, he brought those candies to make us well again. And they worked. Now we feel better than ever. Mama says they're a gift from the Eternal. Why isn't he bringing you more rocket candies? making us sick. Mom and Papa got real mad at him for that. They went to have a talk with him. Afterwards, they said he wasn't coming back again. Thank you. Okay. Maybe I'll see you at dinner. Maybe. Warning! Sam's specially formulated dried out fluid remover has been known to eat through flesh. Handle with caution. Sam, stop that. Let me know. Isn't there something on the. Yep. Yeah. The sun crow. No, 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 that's just some poetry. Hey, what are you doing in my room? Sorry, I was just looking around. Liar! You're trying to steal the last of my rocket candies, aren't you? No. Uh. The ones that come in a bottle with a rocket ship on it, like the other man used to bring. No, no, I don't want to steal your rocket ca <laughs> rocket, rocket candies. Don't worry about that. Hmm. 
Yeah, we can just go through. Huh? If those please turn to Ballard, Velma. Be quiet, Sam! It is unnatural, an affront to the grand plan. Okay, then let's confirm him. I think they are eating him. But what's this? You're tracking blood into the kitchen. Oh dear. You've been nosy, haven't you? Yep. Uh, yeah, it's one of the morning cannibal accuses me of being nosy. My dear, she's getting agitated. We can't let the meat spoil. Don't worry. We'll make this quick. Really? Oh. Oh, nice. Anything else left to do here? I'm gonna be blah blah blah, perhaps some under. Right. Is it 200 meters that way? And there's a big boy. Can you do something about that? Thank you! You. Oh. You can kill him, can't you? Oh, he's still alive. Good job, Sam. I heard something. Oh, sorry, Sam. Thank you. Now let's run. Oh, actually, you think what? You know what? I'm gonna end this part right here. For now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon.